Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are gonna take a look at the Polyan Tracker Mini, and we're gonna have a look at how usable the microphone is. So, we're gonna go down to the bike room, and I'm gonna record a bunch of different hits on my bikes and stuff like that. And then we're gonna edit the samples and then use them in the track, and it's gonna sound like this. So let's get into it. The first thing that we want to do is obviously record some material. Now I've already done that and I'm going to edit the video in so you can see the bits and pieces that I recorded. And what we're going to do now is I've taken those parts, put them into here, I've edited them all out and chosen the best bits because obviously you can see in the video that I'm hitting things multiple times and whatnot. So let's get all those sounds into the into the mini, in, into the session rather, and then we can start to develop the idea. One thing that I will say is, while you can get found sounds to make kicks and, well claps are pretty good, but kicks and bass sounds can be a little bit more difficult. I've seen uh, Ben Jordan where he has a bit on there and kind of resonates the sound and whatnot. To make everything sound a little bit more musical and for me to not sit here for hours on end to try and develop a sound into a kick, we're going to cheat a little bit and still include a couple of samples like a kick. I think I'm going to import maybe a clap and a bass sound and some hats. The rest of it would be the, the melodic elements and the other percussion and whatnot is all going to be found sounds. So without me waffling on for too much, let's start importing some sounds. So you can see here, we have our session. And if we click shift and two, that brings us over to our like sample loader. So we're gonna come over, let's go over to here. And we're gonna go to recordings. And you can see got a ton of recordings here, but I made a little fancy folder of just the bike stuff. So we're gonna load that up. And then if I preview. You can hear the different sounds that I've made there. So let's speed up the video a bit while I import these sounds and then we can do the best bit, which is make some music. So we've got all of our samples in, let's start building a little kick clap pattern. And then from there, we can start to look at some of the found sounds and incorporate them into our little session here. So first up, obviously we want to come along and then let's choose the kick. And we're gonna, we'll just go like that. And we're gonna import that in. We want, want that to be, around there and then I'm just going to do a simple little pattern. We can go there we go and then let's get the little clap in. Instrument and we'll go clap And we can add another little kick down the back here. And then let's change the volume so it's a little dipped as well. So we can come along here, volume. And it starts off at nothing. So let's, a little bit more. Just wanted to like little skip along there. Let's uh, edit the, the clap a little bit. So we can push two 
and then that brings us up to some of the other little uh, options for that sample and you can confirm which sample it is because you've got here it says clap snare vinyl and that's the one that we're using so let's put a little yeah, let's put a little low pass on it And we can go more and then that brings us up to the other little bits so we can add a reverb and delay and stuff like that so let's add some reverb and i like that how, how that sounds but now that we've filtered the the clap i feel like the kick is a little a bit too bitey so let's push two again and you can see we've got kick now let's put a low pass on and just And that's a little bit better. That's the vibe that I'm going for. A little bit more like future garage sort of thing. So we can go back to our little session here. So now what I want to do is add some hats. But I don't want to have to... If you saw my M8 video, I went and put in each hat and I kind of moved them around and everything like that. To speed this along a little bit, we're going to do a little a little cheat if you will so we're gonna we're, we're selected over to instrument we're gonna go shift and up this which selects that whole row and then we're gonna go fill and then what we want to do is we want Euclidean and we've got a 32 beat uh, phrase is what we're working on at the moment so what we can do is let's put in we'll start with 23 and then if we want we can take some bits and pieces away from that so go from here and we're going to go from and we're going to scroll down until we hit the hats Actually, we're going to go random from that hat to this hat. So we, you can see this is the, the limit. So it's only going to take samples between those. So we can push fill and then it's all right. Let's go again. We can push delete. We'll go fill. So let's come along and just delete some of these. And what we can do is let's come along and just do a little bit of editing to them. So especially this one, the 24. So we come along here, put a low pass on again. And maybe we need a little bit of volume change, but let's have a listen. Let's increase this a little bit. Pull down the volume a little bit. And what I want to do is it's a little bit long. So I want to just tighten that up a little bit. So what we can do is uh, is we'll come along. That's the master. Is we want to, oh, sorry, here we go. Uh, which one is it again? back there we go we've got the envelope now and we got the volume envelope and then let's pull the sustain down and just adding a little bit in there And 
already got 23, 24. Let's go to this one and then let's just add a little low pass on that as well. And then we'll go more, let's add some reverb. Choose this one, we're gonna add some reverb to this one as well. You got 24, 25, and then we'll go 23. So we'll go two more. So obviously we could spend a lot more time on this, but for now I'm, I'm digging what we're hearing. So let's go back to here. And then now we're gonna look at incorporating one of the samples. And the melodic sample that we're gonna use is the one where I um, like plucked the, the spoke of the, of the wheel. So let's go to instrument. And go back up to the start and that's the one that we want. So what we're going to do is just going to mute these and then let's change the length. And let's just change the length down to eight so it runs around a little bit more often. And we're going to tune that sample. So let's come into here. And you can see here, we've been usually working in this section where we've been putting a filter on it, but we have these tuning options here. So let's come across. Now, if you come back, you can see this is a C. So we want to tune this to a C. So let's push play. And I have a tuner on my screen, so I'm not, uh, I'm not one of these people that can just tune by ear. So let's go. This is the the um, the note. So so that's up into the register of C, but it's still a little bit off. So let's start to move this down. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get us in the ballpark. So let's go back to our session length. Let's increase this. That's pretty good. So let's go back to the length, back to 32. We can unmute these bits and then we're going to delete this one. And then we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to go in and we've selected the, the lane there. And then we're going to click fill. And then we're going to click Euclidean. We can increase this. Let's go with 22. And then we're going to choose, we'll go a minor. And then we'll go random. And we can go from C2 to c4 so that's going to bring it all down a little bit from the the c5 that we've been working in but we can kind of just play around and see how this goes it it's just super random but this is a thing that i think that you can kind of get ideas and you can start you can kind of think outside of what you would usually be doing so if you kind of always gravitate to making certain um certain melodic lines or whatnot, this is a good way that it just kind of, you have no control. You kind of put in some parameters, but apart from that, you just, it's all up in the air. So let's click fill. You can see it's populated a bunch there. So let's have a listen. So there is a lot going on. So let's delete this. 
click fill, and then let's really decrease the amount of, let's go with 15. We can go fill. Let's go again. And let's go even less. Go 12. 12 seems good. And we need to go fill. So I like it, but some of these lower ones, the D, the D2 and the C2 are a little bit low. So let's bump them up and then we can see how it sounds from there. So let's go like that. Kind of getting there but it is way too loud in compared to everything else. So let's go along and we're going to, uh, we're going to just choose the, the sample and let's put a little volume on it. And then we'll go more and then let's get a bit a little reverb. And then some delay as well. And you can hear the delay is a little bit crazy. So let's go over to where we have the delay. And we got ping pong off. Let's sync it. And then let's just try some different values here. And we can come along and just mute those. Shoot a little bit more. Come back to a bit. Still a little bit loud, so let's change that again. So we got some good stuff going on there. So let's now look at adding some more of those found sounds as the percussion to kind of fill out the rest of the, the idea that we have going on. So what we can do is we're going to come along and we're going to, we got it set to instrument. We're going to do the same thing again, where we, um, we have that whole lane selected. We're going to go fill and then let's bump down the events to 19. We'll go random and then we're going to go Let's go from what is this? two, two, two. So three is where the kind of percussion starts. And then we can kind of go up to here. So we got a good chunk to choose from there. And then we're going to come in and go fill. And what we can do is we can just mute out these so we can have a listen. So this one here, the 13, that was me breathing. So we're going to get rid of that one. And another 13 here. And another 13 here. 
Here we go. So let's now do it with everything. I like this little, this little uh, snap here. So I'm going to add a little effect to that one. I want a reverb send. lot of send. So you can hear there. And then let's go over to the reverb. Let's go into the reverb and we're going to increase that size. And this actual sample, we can just turn that down a little bit. So there you go. It's pretty easy to kind of get a little ID going and kind of break out from the, the usual sort of <laughs> bike chain sort of sound. Um, it is pretty easy to kind of get some sounds in here, edit them down, pick out the best bits and then use those sounds to create something that you wouldn't necessarily think of on your own. Um, it has some good parameters so you can kind of um, still navigate it a little bit but I find that it's, it's pretty good and fun to use in that way. I think that the M8 has the same fill feature um, which is awesome. Funnily and weirdly I I never use the fill feature on the M8, but I think I might start doing it as well. So hopefully this is kind of giving you an insight into the Polyan Tracker Mini and my workflow and how usable the microphone is. Obviously we can keep going and develop this into a whole track, but I think this is a good little stopping point. At the end of the day, hopefully you enjoyed this video. But the main thing is, hopefully I have inspired you to create something. And until next time, see you later.